Can you guys answer the question of why? Why is there so much hate in any of the MiHoYo's games? HoYoverse games, everybody's favorite. Why is there so much hate? I'm a casual Honkai Star Rail player. And one day, I was scrolling through Instagram and saw a Jade promotional post on my feed. I thought she looked fine. Like I am not going to pull for her, but she's alright design-wise. When I went to read the comments, I was flabbergasted. Every single one of the comments are people hating and shitting on her. Jade hater. Alright, do you guys know who this is? If you guys are not aware of who Jade is, Jade is Honkai Star Rail's hot waifu. Alright, and a lot of people love her, but some people straight up just hate her. Alright, there's a lot of Jade haters. So don't let people fool you, alright, you never truly know. But Jade, some people hate her, alright. How much of a hater you gotta be to hate on an anime chick that much? It's not even for a valid reason. The reason is, oh, she uses a whip. Oh, that's a slave master. Oh, her design is so bland. Not liking a character is fine, but they're straight up hating on it for stupid ass reasons. So because here's the thing, right? She uses a, a whip. So that means she's a slave master. I think that's legit. Slave master used to use whip. So if you are a people of color, you wouldn't you will feel offended. Alright? So people might not like Jade as much. I get it. <laughs> Just use the N-word. Just use the N-word, damn. Anyways. I'm fully aware that MiHoYo or Hoyo vs games are filled with toxic stan twitter girls or obsessed Fujoshis ever since Genshin Impact's release. But holy hell, I effing hate them. That's it from me. Just wanted to give a slight rant because they annoy me a lot. Toxic twitter stan girls. Is it true? Hoyo attracts a lot of tourists. Honkai Star Rail need black enemies. <laughs> Damn, black enemies. It's a sensitive 16 year olds. 16 year olds are so sensitive nowadays? Damn. I guess different people worry about different stuff, eh? Different players have different problems. That makes sense, right? That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. The answer is obvious. The game is for a casual audience, and it just happens to be that Hoyo's games have the biggest gacha audiences. I do agree with that, right? So uh, that's just how it is. Uh, casual audience. That means people with a lot of free time on the internet, this is what they do. This is just what they do, right? So you can't just, you know, you can't just remove that. The majority is from Genshin fandom. Big numbers means more toxic people and casual focus means average Twitter people will be in the communities too. So you end up seeing crap like this. The actual majority of the community that's silent is the ones that play the game with no Fs about social status. Most of the hating issues that isn't extreme case scenarios are just small individuals making too much noise. That's about it. True. Like if you don't like Firefly, I mean, not Firefly, if you don't like Jade, pull for Firefly. That, that's like, who cares? If you don't like Jade, pull for the next lolly, Yunli. Yunli fit lolly, alright? I bet you some, some guy is going to complain about the same thing. Oh, why Yunli no shoes, no shoes drama? Probably going to have something similar as well, but hey. That's just how it is more drama or hate in the larger community and it's probably like echo chambered as well you thought it's sensitive 30 years old it could be both it could be like a little bit of both right i feel like it's like it's a small problem altogether uh, but stuff like this is like hard to say for sure you really want ching yi from zzz she is so cute damn you cannot say that all right people on twitter are gonna cancel you you cannot say that lolly is cute underage characters cannot be cute all right or people are going to call you another Dr. Disrespect. The characters are either gay or racist for these people. Yeah, I, I feel like this is going to happen a lot. And there's a lot of hate. But to be fair, to be fair, there's a lot of weird stuff, right? Like, for example, the skin color thing is a bit weird for me. Uh, but people seem to find it normal. And what else? There are a lot of things that people deem normal for like Hoyoverse games. And uh, the boycott stuff. Uh, what else? Mostly it's like non-game related stuff, right? About stuff that probably most gamers that play the game probably just play the game for. And then like people look into this. I think a lot of people just look into games in reflection to their, themselves, in their real life self. So they feel very insecure if the game don't have certain elements that represents them. This is where DEI comes in. Ah, DEI is important. DEI companies like Sweet Baby Inc. is here. 
to help you with that. All right, it's here to insert you into the game that you play, so therefore you feel more connected. All right, everybody loves woke, but I guess uh, Chinese game they don't really have DEI yet, so they, there's no woke yet. So that's how it is for now. People are going to make noises until that is implemented, and then one day that's going to be a thing. But for now, we don't really see that uh, much in in most Eastern games. All right, not just Chinese games, but Korean, Japanese games as well. I'm starting to see some in Japanese games, like Capcom games and stuff, but it's a bit annoying. SBI is here to make everyone happy. Yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. is here to make everyone happy, but lose money. All right, you everybody is happy, but the company lose money. So I'm not sure if it's worth it actually. I feel like it's not worth it. Aren't gachas inherently casual? This is probably true, but there are some gachas that are probably hardcore than others, right? Uh, I feel like, for example, Genshin is super casual, and probably like Epic Seven is more hardcore. If you are doing, every you can still be casual in Epic Seven, but like, it's probably like because of PvP and stuff, it's probably uh, there's more like learning curve and and stuff to actually just explore and experiment around. PlayStation is pushing the inclusion agenda in JP. Uh, apparently, PlayStation or Sony is uh they have a new HQ in somewhere in US. I forgot was it California or something? Something along those lines. Horizon Walker is hoping to release mid August. Wait, really? That is insane if it is. Casual as in commitment or difficulty? What you mean is lightheartedness? The teams differ. Many gachas has dark teams, whilst with serious points. While Genshin is much more all ages in comparison i guess that's fair gambling is not for everyone gambling is for everyone as long as it's only in games and make lots of money for big companies i mean every game has gamblings uh, or like elements to it nowadays right either in form of loot boxes or in form of gacha there's also a large amount of genshin burnouts that can't move on with their lives like former Genshin content creators that hate playing Genshin, but they need Genshin to stay relevant. Wait, what? That is insane. They can't move on to Honkai Star Rail? Land of the Walk. Isn't Genshin for kids? Almost all character looks like child and feminine. Uh, I wouldn't use the word kids, I would use the word family friendly, right? Like that's like saying Marvel is for kids. It's not really for kids, it's just family friendly. And I think family friendly tend to appeal to more audiences, which is true, right? Uh, it tend to like cater to more audiences. The moment you try to make your game like 18 plus, or you try to make your game like, you know, violent or gore and, and stuff like that. Some people just don't like stuff like that. Uh, you're going to filter out some tourists and you don't want to filter out tourists. You want tourists to always play your games. And the best way, uh, I think Genshin is very good at doing that. It's like all tourists are welcome. And it's, it's just a very tourist casual friendly game. It's like a very tourist friendly game. Anybody can play the game at any point and just uh, enjoy the game still. There are some gacha games, they are way more overwhelming for you to, when you join it, like it's probably like harder for you to catch up and stuff because of uh, more things in the game. And I, I feel like Honkai Star Rail seems to be like kind of that in that path, right? It's, it's not really there yet, but it seems to be leading that. Like it's like, because like some meta characters are power creep are like more, much more like absurd in that game. Uh, there's more things that you need to be able to uh, team building and stuff. I think Genshin, you can still use like the, the free characters and stuff, right? But then it's like a different style of game altogether. So there's that as well. You can play Nikkei at family party. Family party? <laughs> you want Genshin to not cater to the tourists? No, if you want, uh, of course you, you are different, right? But for a company, you ideally want that so that you have a better chance to be bigger, right? And more people to see your stuff. Like whether you like it or not, like a lot of kids do share, uh, you know, their gameplay to their other kids, you know, at school and talk about Genshin and stuff. Like it does promote the the game indirectly. So there's that going on, right? So there's a lot of a lot of uh, those factors, larger community and young audience. Genshin is indeed for a very very young audience. Indeed, indeed. This honor used to belong to FGO. Yeah, that that one is like one factor for sure. Fate fans, Hoyo fans, fans of both games. I've started to see some drama on Twitter about people arguing about the Fate stuff. But hey, that's a different story for another day, right? Make more money? Yeah, it's all about making money, man. 